Okay, I've owned the business for the last 14 years, but it's in my, been in my family for 40 years. Um, it started out being the Long Branch, and then when I took over, I named it Gangsters. And, and how long ago was that about? About 14 years ago. Okay. From the time my parents first bought it, this place would be full in the morning, it would be full in after work, but that was FDL and, well, Dubuque Pack at the time. Okay. And John Deere were going full blast, and so were, you know, the other companies over. Because our community, there's a lot of people that work in the Dubuque mm. area. And so, you know, and the laws weren't as tough, and, and guys would, you know, the, they would stop after, after work, have a few beers, go home for supper, and then they'd come back <laughs> for a little <laughs> bit. Um, and just gradually over the years, you can just see it start declining. The laws got a little tougher. Um, people weren't, uh, John Deere went out, FDL went out. And then you could just slowly, slowly see the lack of the interest for, from the community to support the sm uh, small businesses. I have a hair salon. I just do hair color cuts, waxing, and such. It's it's not a spa, but um, I am open during the week, Wednesdays and Thursdays. Um, I see a variety of clients. I have clients that come from as far as Freeport, Illinois to, um, you know, a lot of people right in town here. I'm hoping to lead by example. Um, you know, I really tried to dress up this building as much as possible. Um, I try to change up my arrangements outside and in my windows just to kind of uh, grab the attention of people coming by and hopefully inspiring other people and other business members in town to, um, you know, kind of dress up their area and place as well. I put benches out in the summertime, kind of inviting people to walk around and maybe have a seat and enjoy some of the history that we have on our main street. Um, we have a lot of old buildings. We have a lot of history and, um, you know, it's, it, it's nice to appreciate it and not let it kind of fall away. Have people that come as far as five, six hundred miles away to come get our burgers and their repeats. They come every summer. Sometimes they come two or three times during the summer. And then of course we have a lot of uh, uh, groups that like to stop, a lot of bike groups, um, the motorcycle bikes. Okay. Um, we get a, a tremendous amount of support from, from out-of-towners. I see. Tremendous. Are you worried that uh, it's going to be hard to keep the bar going if you have a few more uh, years like past year? Well, um, we've got one thing going for us, and that's our food. Okay. Okay. Um, that's we do a big food business. Actually, our food is more than our than the bar is. You have a pretty good hamburger. Oh, yep. <laughs> I'll even claim that it's with the best one and within 200 miles. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very proud of our burgers. Okay. And actually, it gets photographed quite regularly. Mm. 